Hello and welcome to Learn Data. I am Nilesh and today we are going to continue learning about pandas. In this video, you will learn how we can identify duplicates. So we will be talking about duplicate records and what duplicate records are, why they are important and we will talk about two methods primarily duplicated and drop duplicates and see how we can use that, that, those two methods to handle duplicate data. After that, we'll look at two commands dot get and dot lookup that can be used to fetch data from data frames and we'll talk how we can use them. So before we get into a Jupyter notebook today, let's talk about what duplicate records are. So as you can see in this particular table, you probably guessed that a duplicate record is a record that repeats. So it's a co exact copy of the record. As you can see, the yellow highlighted rows are copies of each other. It's the exact same data. Now, why, why do we worry about the duplicate records? And the reason is because they can lead to false uh, conclusions. They can uh, guide us in a wrong direction if we have not analyzed and looked at duplicate records before we perform the final analysis. So in this particular case, say if you were to look at total number of passengers traveled by the uh, flight FA101, we would get 300, which is completely incorrect. And in that case, to get the correct answer, we definitely have to go ahead and remove the duplicate data as shown here to get the correct answer, which is 100. So the, these are three main points that I've seen in my experience. Uh, the very first one is they can lead to wrong calculations and uh, they can misguide us in analysis. And once you have the analysis done, when you are presenting that to clients or your other teams, uh, those results do not hold uh, because they are based on wrong data because the data has duplicates which were not taken care of before the analysis was performed and apart from that it also increases computational cost you have to store the cost for a small data sets it's probably not a big deal but if it's a huge data set having duplicate having to process duplicate records for no reason it's a it can be a huge cost so that was it for the importance of duplicate records. Now let's go in Jupyter Notebook and see how can how we can work with them. I've already gone ahead and created uh, the notebook. We have um, uh, the NumPy and Pandas libraries. I've already imported that. And for the data, this time we just have a data frame and I've already created a data frame, which is a little unique there are first three elements in the column n which are one then there are two elements which are two three elements which are three and then four five is just once and the character column is named accordingly the first one suggests that that's the first occurrence of one there and the second one su suggests the second occurrence of one third one suggests third occurrence of one in that particular column. So that particular naming convention will help us understand this uh, concept a little easier. So why don't we get started with the duplicated records? So let's look at duplicated. And what duplicated does is it returns us a Boolean series uh, that tells if the date if a particular row or record in that particular column is duplicated or not okay so in this case if we use the default command it's duplicated and if you just type so the column name we have is n if you type n here we get the true false for the duplicated records and as you can see the very first one was one and it was it appeared for the very first time so it is not a duplicate but after that there are two ones which come up as duplicate and those are flagged here as true 
now same thing with uh, we have for indices 3 and 4 we have the first two is by itself so it's not duplicate because it appeared the first time and then the second two is a duplicate because there is already a two up there similarly we have for three the first one is not considered a duplicate but the remaining two are duplicate because we already have an existing three at the index five now the four and five at index eight and nine those are those appear only one once and therefore they are not duplicates hence it is false now this is a default way uh, the duplicated command works and it is similar to the df dot duplicated n and keep is equal to if we say first so what first and first is the default that we had here but we didn't have to type that and what first does is it flags the very first occurrence of a record as false if it's and on the subsequent reoccurrence of those records as duplicates so here this is the first occurrence of one right here and therefore it is flagged as false but then the second two appearances are considered duplicates and therefore they are flagged as true in this boolean series that we get back now apart from first there is another one which is called last and you probably guessed it right last means here we are going to flag the last record that repeats duplicated n and keep is equal to last now here as we can let me pull the data from okay so here as you can see the first two uh, first two um, indices 0 and 1 those are true because in last it's going to flag only the last occurrence of that repeated item as false so these first two are true because they appear first and second it's not the last the third one is the last which is at index 2 as you can see here and that is marked flagged as false similarly for the number 2 here uh, the second the last occurrence of two is at index four and therefore that one is flagged here as false and so on and so forth for three the last occurrence is at index seven and that is flagged as false and three four and five they do not repeat and therefore they are flagged as false okay so that that was the uh, difference between first and fall first and last there is another one another method which is false now when we uh, assign false let's see what we get n keep is equal to false so here in false we get uh, we get flags for all the duplicates okay as true so as you can see in this series we know that the one two and three were duplicated either once or twice and all of them are flagged as true whereas four and five were not at all duplicated they appeared only once in the data frame in column n and therefore they are flagged as false here now moving on to the next topic so let's go back and look at this once more now if you were to use the duplicated and use this as a mask and put them in the square brackets for df you can use those duplicated flags to pull data from the data frame so here you get all the duplicates only because only those are flagged as true similarly if you go back up here and if you copy the command for last you type that in here all records except the last record that was flagged false is returned as you can see the first two are returned were true and therefore they appear in the output however the 
third appearance which is the last appearance that was flagged as false does not appear in the output now let's move on to drop duplicates and see how we can work with drop duplicates drop underscore duplicates and the syntax is similar so we want to write df dot drop underscore duplicates and here if we use default n we get this output now you probably realize that in this case the default drop duplicate keeps the first one okay so for all of these occurrences we see that their first occurrence is here so we have the first one at index 0 we have the first two number from row n uh, from the column n and similarly for other rows if we use keep is equal to first then we'll get exactly the same result first and as you can see you get the first occurrence of each element in column n for all the records similarly if we now look at how last works and you guessed it right for last we'll get the last record so keep is equal to last and here we get the last record which is the third one for one for second is the second occurrence for third for our three is the third occurrence and four and five the last occurrence is the first occurrence because those two numbers do not repeat now again we can use the false here for keep as well and let's see df dot drop duplicates n that's the column we are using right now and if we set this to false we get only those records that are not duplicated at all okay so while using these commands we have to be very cautious that we are dropping certain rows from the data set because and we need to use appropriate keep condition for most of the time what happens is we want to drop the duplicate records but then we want to keep at least one of those so as is the case here we dropped all one two and three number records and that may not be advisable um, uh, in some of some of the analysis so you want all the data but you don't want the duplicates of that existing data all right now let's go in and look at the get command and this command can be used to uh, fetch data from the data frame at a specific index so our data frame looks like this now if we say df there are two ways we can do this so if we give it a column name df in square brackets in quotes n dot get and now if we specify the index number so let's say if you want to get stuff at index 3 then we get the value in column n at index 3 which is 2 and that's what we get here similarly we can also use this for a series um, and for series let's say if we have a series a is equal to pd dot series and one two three and now if we say a dot get and we say one oh, sorry it has to be parenthesis not square brackets a dot one and we get two back so this is zero and one so at index one we have the number two finally let's look at the lookup command so lookup and this command can be really handy if uh, let's say if we have a table which has columns uh, with say channel names a comedy channel a movies channel and then we have uh, city names and if we want to find which city 
if we want to find how many people from a city watch comedy channel then we can give the city and the comedy channel name so in case in our case let's see let's create a data frame pd dot data frame and let's create column m that has two seven eight maybe six and then let's create another column which has let's say three four four and two and then last column o which has characters let's say a b um, maybe a again sorry and then put a q here that's our data frame now here if you want to look up what's at index uh, specific index. let's say what's at index to 0 2 and 3 so look up 0 2 and 3 and columns m n and o so m n and o so if we type that then we can get the data from those particular cells so at index 0 so here we specify list of indices and list of column names so index 0 at column m we have 2 and that's what we get here similarly at index 2 which is this column n we have 4 and that's what we get and index 3 column o uh, we have q and that's what we get here so uh, the lookup command is really helpful in certain situations where uh, you have a data set in front of you and somebody asks a question can you quickly look up uh, what we have in data for x column and x row so you can easily use the lookup command there that's it for this video in the next video we'll continue learning about pandas I hope you learned something new today. Please like, share and subscribe if you enjoy the content. It helps me stay motivated to create more videos for you all. Thank you and I will see you in the next video.